Hello everybody, it's Harsh here from Enterprise DN. In our previous video, we saw how to calculate the ranking in a hierarchical form. In today's video, we'll deep dive further in the rank x function and analyze some of the most important scenarios such as when to reference an entire table inside the rank x function. When to reference a field name along with the table name inside the rank x function. What happens when the level of granularity decreases? What's the best practice? Should we reference a table name or a field name along with the table? What happens when a sort order is applied over a field? And how the ranking is evaluated? at the back end. So in today's video, we'll see answer to all of these questions one by one. So let's head over to the Power BI and see our first scenario. In this scenario, we want to calculate the ranking of our customers and we will be referencing the entire customers table inside the rank x function and see how the results are evaluated. So let's go ahead and write our measure for the customer ranking. Let's see our results by dragging the customer ranking measure inside the table. So far, as we can see that we are getting the correct results. But is this the best fit in all the scenarios? What if there are two persons with the same name but in different cities or what if we have two places with the same name but in different territories so now let's apply the same logic for one more time but this time we will apply it over the regions table where we have two cities with the same name but in two different locations as we can see on our screen that inside the regions table we have two cities with the same name but they are available under the two different territories. Let's see what happens when we apply the same logic from our previous scenario. We will name our measure as cities ranking. Now let's track this formula inside our table and see the results. So now we start to see a problem with our ranking formula. Since rank x function is iterating over an entire set of table, it is not able to consolidate the results for the cities with the same name, which are available under two different territories and ultimately resulting in this type of error. But now, let's reference the field name as well inside the rank x function along with the table name and let's see the results. So how did the error got sorted? The reason behind is when we reference a field name inside the rank x function it will iterate it over only through that column and not over the entire table. It will remove the duplicates even though two cities are available in two different territories and thereby it consolidates them as one single city and provides the results. And that's what we wanted to see as our results in this scenario. So now in this scenario, Let's see what happens when the level of granularity decreases. That is, in this case, we will apply ranking over the territories column. So let's name our measure as territories ranking. So let's bring our territories ranking measure inside the table visual 
So now we are seeing the error while calculating the ranking at a territorial level. The reason being is when we reference only the table name, ignoring the column name, again it iterates it over an entire table, thereby failing to consolidate the results at a territorial level. Let's reference the territories field inside the regions table and see the results. So now we get the correct results at a territorial level. The question here is. When should we reference the entire table name? And when should we include the field name along with the table? So here's the answer. When ranking is applied over a very lowest level of granularity, in those cases, we can refer the table name, ignoring the field name. But when the level of granularity decreases, we will have to reference the column name along with the table name as well. But so far, we are only analyzing the results in the form of single visuals, that is, a table. Let's just duplicate our scenario number 2, where left side of the visual will reference only a table name inside the rank x function, whereas the right side of the visual will reference the column name as well inside the rank x function and then compare the results by bringing a slicer onto that page in the form of territories and see what happens. So when we make a selection into the slicer, as you can observe that in the left side of the table visual, since rank x is iterating over the entire regions table, it doesn't provide the result in a serial order. But on the right side of the table visual, since rank x is iterating only over a specific column of the table, it is able to filter out the results in accordance with the selection made into the slicer and therefore provides the results in a serial order. So this is also one of the most important thing to keep in mind that if we want to see the overall ranking results then we can reference only the table name inside the rank x function. But if we want our results to be in a serial order as per the selection made into the slicer, then we need to reference a column name as well inside the function. Lastly, let's proceed further with our final scenario. That is, what happens when a sort order is applied over a certain field? and how the ranking is evaluated at the back end. In this case, we are using products name from the products table to analyze which are our best performing products. So let's write a ranking measure for our products name. We will name our measure as products ranking. So let's bring our products ranking measure inside the visual and see the results. So this time around, we can see that even though we have referenced our product name field inside the rank x function, it is not evaluating the results correctly. But why this is happening? So let's open our DAX studio and see how rank x is evaluating the ranking results at the back end. So here, I have copied the query of the table visual via performance analyzer and pasted it into the DAX studio. And as we can see in this query, there is a presence of product index as well, which is a index or a sorting field inside the products table. So even though in our table visual, we brought only product name, total sales and ranking measure this field is getting referenced by default at the back end of the ranking calculation. So now let's fix our product's ranking measure by referencing the sort field as well inside the rank x function and see the results for the one final time. 
now we can see that our results for the product name are getting correctly evaluated. So whenever we have a field which is being sorted by another field, then in those cases we need to reference both the fields inside the rank x function. Based on all the scenarios which we have discussed today, in the next video we will see how to calculate the ranking in a tabular form. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators. Uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.